We welcome you back here. Empty inside the media room at Gillette Stadium at the moment, but the press conference, which completed about a half an hour ago, UMass announcing its move up to the FBS level in football and to the MAC conference. And speaking of the MAC, we welcome John Steinbrecher, the commissioner of the conference. We thank you for coming by. Why was UMass selected as a good fit for your league? Well, I guess there's a lot of reasons. I've been on board with the conference almost two years now, and, and really at every meeting with our presidents and ADs since I've uh, been with the conference, we've talked membership and tried to examine what our strengths, what our needs were, and it really came out of last our meetings last spring with uh, the directive to really look at the landscape, look at who's out there, and see if there are some good fits. And we look all sorts of places. And the more we looked at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and we zeroed in on a couple things. And it really starts with, first, the academic profile of the institution. It starts there. If, it, if we don't get past that, it doesn't go any further. And I think people really need to understand that. That was really an important component. And obviously, great, it's one of the best public institutions, one of the best institutions in the country. So that, you know, we got through that very well. The leadership of the institution, outstanding, and we, we really appreciated the vision they had. And then you start working through the athletic part of it, uh, looking hard at football, looking at the infrastructure, uh, at what they've done and what the possibilities could be, and you start matching that up and you say, hmm, there are some really good possibilities here. And so we think it's it, it really makes a nice marriage. I think with the tie-in, particularly we've got another football only a, a member Temple University mm -hmm. it's already a built-in rival for UMass I think that, that that's going to help in this transition and 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 help UMass really get brought into the conference very very quickly um, and it really doesn't stretch our footprint all that much you know we, we, we go from Chicago now to to the to Atlantic seaboard still in terms of FBS conferences we're probably about as tight geographically as there is so uh, the travel really wasn't yeah you look at it wasn't a big issue in this case. Competitively on the field, from what you've gathered, and I'm sure you've gathered a lot of information, how does the UMass football program look against the programs already existing in the MAC? Yeah, well, there's some growing they need to do, and they know it, and that's natural. Uh, they'll be recruiting a little different student athlete hopefully they get a little bigger a little faster some of those things although they've got a very fine team as it is and you've seen as they've played FBS teams in past years they've been very very competitive more often than not um, I quite frankly expect them to come in and and become competitive in in short order you look at our league and we are we are really a competitive league top to bottom the past three years ten of our thirteen institutions have gone to bowl games uh, we've not had one team run away for five years and you know go twelve and zero through the league like a couple of leagues have done and that's uh... that's a good thing and a bad thing in, in some ways so i expect umass to come in and in short order be fighting for bowl slots be fighting for conference championships i know umass fans watching are certainly hoping that this is the facility that, at least in 2012 and 2013, the first two seasons that UMass is a member of the MAC, Gillette Stadium is where the home games are going to be played. Mm -hmm. How does the MAC look at this as a home facility? Do they want this to continue? Would you like to eventually see things move back towards McGurk Stadium in Amherst? Mm -hmm. Well, we're excited to be able to come into the Boston marketplace and certainly to play in a facility as fine as this is exciting. Our student athletes, I think, uh, what a unique opportunity. You know, we play in a pro stadium when we play in Philadelphia. Our, our conference championship game is in Ford Field in Detroit. And now with UMass, we have possibly could play in three pro stadiums in, in a single year, depending on how your schedule feels. As they take care of some things on campus, I think we end up with the best of both worlds. We have a chance to play here for some games, and probably maybe there's a game or two a year we play back in Amherst. I think both will be just outstanding. Commissioner, if you would, explain for the fans the basketball part of this agreement. Temple and UMass, now as football members, will be playing men's and women's basketball non-conference games, four games a year, I believe it is. Correct. Why was that important to the conference to extend that to UMass? And, and to explain it further, it's two home and two away a year. Well, I think it continues to build relationships. Uh, we wanted to, to engage in some other sports, and basketball seemed like a natural place to do that. We've been doing that with Temple. I think it's, again, it, it helps build those rivalries, build those relationships. Uh, those are the two high-profile sports we both have. And so where we can build those ties, I think we, we try to take advantage of those things. What deliberations were made, either pro or con? When you start looking at UMass, what really stuck out as a positive? What things maybe 
did you think uh, maybe this isn't a good fit? How, how hard yeah. were those deliberations? What were they when you looked at it? Well, and this was a uh, talk about deliberations. We've been very deliberate. I think some people want these things to happen immediately, and this has really been a about a nine month process, and that's probably the right thing. This is, I, I, I kind of relate this to it's a courtship because you're what ultimately you're trying to, to build a good marriage, and so you're dating for a while, <laughs> and you really need to get to know each other and ask all the questions and share all the information because you don't want any surprises. And so we've done that, and we've taken the time, and where questions have arisen, we've, we've, we've tried to answer it on both ends. And I think where we came out is we really like each other and expect us to be a long term strong marriage marriage. Commissioner, thanks so much for the time. We're so happy to be involved with the conference and we look forward to some great, great play on the field. Welcome to the Mid-American Conference. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to be back with UMass Director of Athletics, John McCutcheon. So keep it right here.